Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I wanted to make a short video right quick just to drop a tip. A lot of you probably know this, but for the few people that watch it don't, a few tips I've picked up over the years I try to share. I was cutting up some of these logs. What I had done is picked up with the forks. The lady had a tree cut down in front of the house back in the summer. And uh, instead of sawing it all up at the time, I just sawed some big old limbs and logs and come and dumped them right here with the uh, tractor and the forks. And my wood pile, I've probably, not quite half of it, but I've burnt a good, probably a third of it. And I'm trying to get this stuff up so that when it comes grass cutting time, I ain't got a mess to clean up. So I got out here and was sawing this up. Well, this is below freezing probably, or right at it, I would say. And uh, I put a 20 inch bar on this steel chainsaw. It came with a 16, so it's not a real strong saw. Uh, it is a, I didn't even forgot. MS, it's a 290. And uh, what I usually run for oil is this bar and chain oil. And I don't even know what weight is. It's like 90 weight, I probably think. I'm not even sure. It don't even say on here. But it's a real thick gear oil. Well, I noticed the other day I cut a few pieces of it up and, and some of these bigger blocks like this I cut short so I can bust them up into smaller pieces because that big round won't fit in my stove. And uh, I bust them up and then I further bust them up into real small pieces and that's what I use to start a fire with. Uh, but these other pieces I wanted to cut up and put logs to put in and they'll burn all night. And I was sawing some of it up, and I noticed the saw was just really lugging. And I mean, I was working with it. So what I did is that when I change oil in my pickup, just the burnt motor oil, I pour it in these jugs. And then I've got a two-gallon jug that's slammed full of it. I put this in there. Man, saw cut like a charm. So when the weather temperature changes, I know down here in Mississippi, you think, oh, it don't change enough for it to matter. But it does. When you get down to around freezing temperatures and you go to trying to run a saw especially when you've not been running it all day now once this saw's done hot and you've been sawing wood all day it probably don't matter as much but i crank it up as a homeowner and and cut up this little pile of wood and then i go set it back under the shed it never really got hot the bar probably got warm but not enough to heat that oil as it feeds through that little hole in there so just a tip in this cold weather go to a thinner oil and that recycling your burnt motor oil is a good thing to do. So I just put it in this little bottle with a spigot on top where I can squirt it because it's hard to get in under this handle when you flip it over on the side. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that tip with y'all. It's cold out here. I got a pile of pottery I've been trying to get worked on. Uh, so I'm keeping a fire rolling in that pottery shed. But I just wanted to come out here and drop a little tip. Say hi to y'all. Thank y'all for watching my videos. We fix and try to get into some more fishing and uh, other stuff. So y'all hang with me. If, if it'll get where I can, I'm going to go do a, a squirrel hunt with the flintlock here before long. So y'all stick with us. And uh, we'll have another good one coming up before long. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. And we'll see y'all.